Man, we got Roe Reckless. What it do, what it do, what it do, what it ain't. Man, we over here interrupting SoFlo Willie School no, right now, you, man. man. You know this is, we all welcome here, man. Even the chair. You know what I'm saying? What's up, little man? <laughs> Roe, you know man. what it is, man. We shooting with Buntree today, man. Representing, Just giving y'all a little glimpse of what's going on. You know what For I'm saying? Sure, Safe man. alternative to teach you worms out there. How to ride safely, man. There's a lot of people out here, you know, got a lot of questions to be answered. I'm here to help y'all. You know All right, well, let me get him a formal mm -hmm. introduction. Only way he deserve it. Mm -hmm. This Ro Reckless, man. Yes, sir. One of Broward top hitters. Yes, sir. Yes, and sir. at the end of the day, his name going up in the Raptors, y'all. <laughs> and we got him, y'all. We got him. His, his number up there like Kobe, 24, yeah, man. Yeah, you know, not I'm only, humble, I'm humble. Not you know only is he, not only is he crazy on them bikes, mm -hmm. he's actually a coach, man. He could, he could Whatever interpret thought. this. Would've ever thought, bro. He could. I hated school. <laughs> I'm out here teaching, bro. I'm telling you, if I could find my teachers today, they wouldn't believe it, bro. <laughs> I would've never thought in a million years I'd be teaching people, but I love it, bro. It's just something that nobody else is really doing, and I figured this is something that could help a lot of people go in the right direction. Aside from you know leading yourself to hitting this asphalt and you calling out of work. Y'all can't afford that right now. Not at all. We going through some times right now. And not so, only that, gas costs too much. You know what I'm saying? You can't go to work tomorrow on crutches talking to your boss, talking about, yeah, I was practicing wheelies yesterday. You're fired. <laughs> you, <probably. laughs> you know what I'm saying? They don't want to hear that. So come here. You can practice safely. You know what I'm saying? And nobody got to know your business. All right, man. It's a safe alternative, man. I'm just trying to help you. Man, I know... I know you got to get back to work, but how did this start, man? Ro, just give us a quick little, you know, background. Pretty much, um, a lot of people may not know, surprisingly, I started in motocross. So I actually started racing motocross for about five, six years, and, you know, same sad story. Like, if you're not good, I wasn't that good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm keeping it honest with y'all. I wasn't well-rounded like that. So it got expensive for me and my family. So I'm racing against people that got four or five bikes in their trailer, opposed to me just having one. So when my bike break down, I'm out for the season. They bike break down, dad, go get practice bike. Yo, can you go, go get the, uh, the other bike, go get the tune bike. So I just got to a point where I was just like, man, I'm gonna leave this alone. And I kind of turned to the streets and I kind of found a home doing that because I actually got good in what I, what I, a new form and a new technique I wasn't even used to, wheeling, stunting, you know what I'm saying? I came from jumping, Dirt hills, ramps, whichever, whatever y'all want to call them, going through berms, whoop section, to a whole nother, as you can see, bro, it's like it's, it's taking over. This is the new sport. So the way I look at it right now, bro, I feel like what's going on with this wheelie and this bike life mm -hmm. is going to eventually one day be a sport, like as far as in the Olympics and the X Games, whatever you want to call it. Like this is where it's going to really go down at. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Take a break.